Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for OnePlus 5T. This time we have Yap ROM based on Android 16. So this is also a AOSP based ROM and unofficial build for this device. I have been using this ROM about a month now actually and it is working well but there are issues. So Android version as you can see here 16. The security watch level is 5th June 2025 and you can see other information. The UI is pretty smooth, no issue at all and the control panel is pretty much similar and in terms of network connectivity so bluetooth wi-fi and hotspot working well no issue at all but no bolt and boo wi-fi available on this rom i haven't found any rom where boo lt and boo wi-fi working so if you are using any custom rom which got boo lt and boo wi-fi support please let me know in the comment section below in that section we do get few things like default apps but no clone apps or app lock option Notification is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM. Sound and vibration working well, no issue. We do get few options here, but no pare volume control as you can see here. But you can choose left volume panel or right volume panel. Modes option is available. In the display section, we do get adaptive brightness and few other things. For customization option, we are not getting any kind of dedicated customization option, but the customization we are getting here are in the subcategories. So as you can see here, we do get theming setting, theme style, color, and few other things. By the way, double tap to sleep and double tap to work working. So as you can see here, both of them work. Wallpaper and style. So we do get clock options, change wallpaper. So we are getting only a single wallpaper with this ROM but you can install Google's wallpaper application and view customization option here in the mode lock screen setting we do get ambient display so I would use a Bible if you want that storage by default Android 16 or 15 based ROM takes around 15 GB of storage battery so the battery backup is quite good I haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that Everything seems to be perfectly fine. Battery uses as you can see here. Not bad, but we are not getting any kind of battery control features. So scheduling, limiting, all those features are not available. In the system setting, we do get all the typical setting and miscellaneous option and status bar option. So in the status bar option, we do get network traffic display, double tap to sleep, clock position, battery and other customization option and we do get one plus setting to customize the silent switch and few other things like high brightness mode fps overlay and all these things in terms of security we do get both face and finger pin unlock and pretty fast actually no issue at all and in the more security setting we do get theft protection and few other things. So that's all what you are getting in the setting panel, nothing much. In terms of application, so I did install few application here. So the camera we are getting here is graphene camera application, which does work. So as you can see here, no issue at all. And video recording is also working. And if you want to install a GCAM, you can install GCAM, but GCAM is not really that compatible with this ROM. Maybe different version of the GCAM will work fine here, but the one I'm using here, as you can see here, not working that well. And in terms of phone call, as I said, Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi not working, but you can record call, so that is a viable. And in terms of Google Photos, so unfortunately we are not getting Google Photos unlimited storage with this ROM. So as you can see here. And no Magic Editor. Let me see. So as you can see here, it crashed. In terms of safety net, that is also not available. Setting about. So as you can see here. Device is not certified, so the bank application and payment application not going to work here. 
and other application like WhatsApp is working well. I haven't faced any issue as you can see here. You can log in and working well. On many ROMs, WhatsApp doesn't work, but here it is working, no issue. ChatGPT doesn't work as we don't have safety net. And other features like we do get circle to search, which is working. No issue at all. And lastly, in terms of gaming, so the gaming performance is quite good. I haven't faced any lag or hang anything like that. So in terms of gaming, you can still consider this ROM, no issue at all. Overall, the ROM is usable, no issue. As you can see here, pretty smooth. It is working pretty well. So you can try this ROM. But as I said, there are few minor issues like VoLT, Bo Wi-Fi support is not available. Gcam is not working well here. Feature like unlimited storage for Google Photos and safety net, all these things are not available. But for basic use, this ROM is still pretty much usable. So if you want to try this ROM, the ROM link will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.